Hey guys, what's good? This is Alex with Alex Apple Help, and uh, I'm really sorry that I have not been posting any of these tutorial videos that I uh, normally make on the channel. And the reason is that I have been really, really busy. I just finished school and all of the final projects and stuff like that. And I also was working on the music, uh, on the musical uh, video that I posted on my channel about a week ago. If you have not seen it, uh, please go ahead and check it out and just leave me your support down below and just comment on what you think about it. Um, yeah, I will have the link down in the description below. So those are the reasons basically. And so guys, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to uh, take a clip from Premiere Pro and send it over to After Effects without having to export it, th export it through Premiere and then import it into After Effects because that's just a waste of time and there's a way easier uh, method of doing it. Uh, that method only applies if you're trying to send a clip from Final Cut Pro over to After Effects. However, since Premiere and After Effects are from Adobe, uh, they work together and same for Audition and stuff like that. However, that I'm going to be covering in later tutorials and stuff like that. And also before I begin, uh, I would really want to ask you guys if you could uh, submit any videos that you want me to make uh, for this channel or any questions that you have uh, or basically that so that I have uh, more content to do for this channel. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so please leave me, j just submit any videos that I that you would like me to make for this channel. Uh, so guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So first of all, as you can see right here, we are in Premiere Pro right there. Uh, just go ahead and yeah, as you can see, I have my clip right there. And um, there might be several reasons you want to import it into After Effects. Uh, you might just want to color correct it or do some visual effects or just do some motion tracking, etc, etc, the reasons are infinite. And so the uh, what you have to do is you need to right click on the clip right there and if you see at the bottom there is an option called um, replace with After Effects Composition. So you want to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see right there After Effects will start opening up and right there just give it a second to load. It also depends on your computer how fast it does open. And so as you can see now um, it is After Effects is open and as you can see right there immediately the clip is there. So as you can see now you have After Effects opened with the clip. And uh, now you can go ahead and do color correction, motion tracking, etc, etc, whatever you want to do in After Effects. And just for a quick test I'm gonna apply a quick levels right there so that you can see that I'm just affecting my clip. And right there, as you can see, when I'm affecting my clip, if I go ahead and go back into Premiere Pro, and just let it quickly load, as you can see right there, it's also affecting the video that is in Premiere Pro. So that's the reason that I like to work with Premiere Pro now, because I can collaborate with After Effects easier, and so yeah. And so pretty much when you're done doing whatever you were doing in After Effects, the only thing that you have to do is you need to go back into Premiere, and the project will be there with the changes applied. So anyway guys, I hope this video helped you and that you did enjoy it guys. Please do leave me a comment down below on what you think about this. And also please hit up that like button as it does help me out a lot. And I hope you have an amazing day guys. Until next time, I am Alex, I am Alex Apple Help. Bye bye. Oh, how I hate those cars.